We are on our way to Denver to do Costco shopping. There are some items that we can't get here, so we are having to go three, about three and a half hours out of Nebraska to the nearest Costco, which is in Denver, and do some shopping and, you know, make it a day or a full day's worth of shopping. More, you see? Colorado outside of Colorado and we are stopping at a diner and Luis and I are wondering we're like was this in diners drive-ins and dives so we're gonna look it up when we get inside I hope the food is good though wow this is so cool the round one or the the square one right here We're in the beautiful land of Colorado. And this is an amazing diner, check it out. This is just great. It feels like I'm in the 60s or 70s, but I wasn't born in the 70s or 60s, so I don't know what it was like. And I'm here with Lucy. She's, well, chomping on this uh, spoon. And we're gonna eat ourselves. <laughs> we're gonna go shopping in a little bit in Costco, so it should be fun. We had to drive well, almost four hours to get here. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad of a drive. Just, it's a little chaotic because you know the babies are just so loud. But we got through it. We got it. <laughs> and Lucy wanted to get out so bad, so we got it done. We ordered the uh, chicken burger, right? Yeah. But his has lettuce, which I don't know why mine doesn't have lettuce. And these kids. Past their nap time, they're super cranky. So we need to we need to eat really quick and get to our shopping. <laughs> we had to get out of there, and get our food to go because both of the kids were they were crying. So we had to get out of there and be like, we gotta go. So we got we got our food to go. It's their bedtime, it's their nap time, so it's understandable. They're super cranky, and we went on another road trip. And they just got used to their schedule and so now I mean it's not it's not their fault they're being babies but you know it's stressful that's why we don't like traveling yeah you know we're just fine being at home if people want to come see us please come over it's just stressful <laughs> if you don't have twins you then you have no clue how stressful it is so the people in Colorado must be big because look at this cart so right at my at my chest. I don't know if you can see it. It's huge. It's huge. It's big enough to hold two car seats. Where am I? This is how big the cart is. It's, it's right here on my chest. <laughs> These are the things I need. I need almonds, macadamia nuts, diapers, semi-sweet chocolate chips, olive oil and rice and these kids will not take a nap and it's frustrating but things happen you gotta roll with the punches right they have items here that i have never seen in a in the juno costco for instance saffron for 13.59 you can get spanish saffron which is cool Avocado oil for $8.99. Highest high heat cooking oil. Hmm, tempting. Uh, look at that. It's a TV with a. Ooh. Babe, did you see this? Yeah. What is that, a TV with a fireplace in it? Oh, basically. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, the San Pellegrino orange beverage, sparkling orange beverage, but it's one of my favorites and it's really, really good. Um, I don't really like orange juice, but when it's like like this, or sorry, not the paper or the foil, like this, then I'll drink it. Do you guys sell coolers? Coolers? Yes, we do. Okay, thank you. 
course they sell coolers. I mean, they sell... <laughs> now, now you're what? so sure. <laughs> Is that a hardware store? Yeah. Wow, that's a mansion Lowe's. That's pretty big. That's his mansion right there. That's, that's pretty big. Everything is bigger in Colorado, I guess. Or is that Texas? That's Texas. Oh, sorry. Whoa! <gasps> what? What? Don't do that. <laughs> scared me. That semi right there is backwards and he scared me. Don't do that. There, now these are much healthier than Cheerios, you guys. Brown. Oh yeah, everything here is brown. Yeah. Light posts are brown, buildings are brown, sidewalks are brown. Yeah, their shopping centers are brown. Every, yeah, the shopping places are brown. <laughs> well, Colorado does mean brownish. Right now, we are on our way to Michael's. Okay, what do I need? Art stuff. <clears throat> Candle. Can you go to like the party supplies? The birthday? Oh, there's so much stuff here that I want to get. Mm. Oh, I do need to get paint though. But I better stick with Luis because he hates it when I wander off and I tend to do that, which I just did just now. So, I do need one of these for the cupcakes. Okay. One of these spatulas. Oh. Look at that. You want that one instead? That huge one? No, I'm doing little mini baby things. So now we are in the paint section, and the cool thing is, for a big one of these, it's only two dollars. So babies, just a little four one one. I'm getting you guys some colors because I am painting you western scene cutouts. You know the ones where you put your head in and then you take a photo and it's like, and then, you know, the other cut, yeah. So that's going to be fun. I wonder what that is over there. When you're from a small town, you notice how many people are in a city. There's just so many people, it's yeah. amazing. My favorite Bible verse is 1 John 5, 19, which uh, uh, just says, uh, we know that we are of God, from God, we belong to God, and the control of the world is under the devil. It's really self-explanatory if you ask me. I mean, we believe in God and He will can take care of us and watch over us. But the enemy is always seeking how to destroy, destroy chase you, whatever you want to put in there. He wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's what a good do you verse. encourage? I, I encourage you guys to read First John. It's a good, good verse. And never forget that you, you're by yourself. Every struggle that you're you're having, um, well, the enemy is right there, doing his best to distract you. So now we're at the mall. Even though we don't like city life, I do love being in a big mall. There's so many people in here, Meeker. Aww. Don't do it, she'll bite you. She will bite you. What do you think? It's awesome. <laughs> Look, if you have this thing, you'll be on your little uh, chair. You can turn it off from there. Oh. 
you guys gonna draw or did you break it? <laughs> Mika. <laughs> He's like, this is so much fun, better than a car seat. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? Oh, you wanna help me make bottles? Hold on, hold on. These kids just don't listen, do they? Huh? huh? Mika just does not listen. What? What do you do? He's playing with the curtain. He's banged his head plenty of times. Good morning. Good morning. So I guess it's going to be a split vlog. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> last night, I think the last time I videoed yesterday was before we had dinner and after that it, it was I couldn't you know do two at once they were just very very tired and we had to keep you know feeding them snacks to keep them entertained because well we were eating so but all we pretty much did was we oh we had I had Greek food or you know some type of Greek food in the food court at the mall and Luis had uh, some chicken Johnny Rockets, Johnny Rockets. Don't recommend and my friend because <laughs> I recommend it and my friend she had pizza so it was nice seeing her she went to we went to college together she was one of my friends that I hung out with all the time so it was really really nice seeing her and she only lives three hours away and, and I invited her to the twins birthday so hopefully she can come big bulk item Okay, no, get out of the kitchen. We had to get a lot on um, quite a bit more, but we got some diapers, size four and size five because maybe size five they'll start using them after we use these size fours. <laughs> a big box of wipes, box of soy milk, and this drink, this little sparkling juice thing which is my favorite I've been looking for this they don't have this in the Juno I don't think they have this in the Juno um, Costco so what happened oh Lucy has this tendency that when she doesn't get what she wants she throws herself and she hits her head on the floor yeah so it's like Sometimes you just have to let her, and then she'll learn. So we stopped, you know, resisting her from doing it, and then the more we resisted her, she did it. <gasps> Hi, good morning. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is you, this you ah. Lucy, no, you can't come over here. We're putting stuff away. Okay, she did it. And look at this kid. He loves the pillow. He loves jumping. Brinka, brinka, brinka! Ah. Brinka, brinka! Lucy, she just, that's, she just did it again. Lucy! Lucy! We went to, a, there was a little toy store in the mall. And so we were walking in, around inside and they grabbed toys from the dollar section, you know, the goodie bag section. And so when... Okay, here, here. There. <laughs> Lucy, where did you... Uh, Mika's the one who chose this. And Lucy grabbed this. <laughs> she has no clue what it is, but she grabbed it and she was freaking out. So we're like, just get them one. But that's a bad habit, you know, the just because they cry in the store, we buy it. But we really don't buy them toys, so... Especially expensive ones. I mean, these ones were only 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And they're still pretty young. We don't ever go places, so... It's just nice to be able to buy them little things once in a while. You like your, um, baton or your wand looking thing? You like your scuba Steve? 
the apple store there was a mother of twins over there and she saw the kids she's like oh, i have twins but they're seven years old now and i was like wah, wah. can't really relate yet because they're you know big age difference but she did say oh it does get better trust me a lot of singleton moms tell me oh it gets better it gets better but then I don't really believe them because their situations are different but whenever a mother of twins tell me it gets better it's like a breath of fresh air a breath of fresh air and then Luis was like when at what age does it get better and she's like well the first two years are hard but let's say after three she's like there's so much fun it's just so much easier and I, 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 I told her I said you promise you're not joking with me he goes, don't yeah Funny. Look at his little thermal. Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! What shall we eat? I don't know. There are these bangs and cuts and dents. All on this bench already from their toys from going like this. So, Luis is not very happy about that. Okay, we need to put this on here. Or else your daddy's gonna get mad. Get mad at me, not mad at you, but. Okay. Come over here, sit down. Good girl. <laughs> yeah? She knows how to use it, see? Good girl, Lucy. Guess what we got in the mail? Oh, I've been waiting for this box. We got a big box here. Whew, tired. From Oriental Trading Company, and these are the party supplies for their birthday. Got some cowboy hats. No, oh, this one's for too big for you. And we got also some children cowboy hats. And we, okay, I ordered some hay bale and it said small, right? I didn't really, I thought it said two feet, not two inches. <laughs> Look how small that is. What am I gonna use this for? This pinata though. Look at that. It's so small. We're going to a rodeo. <laughs> Doink. Joshua 1 9 says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good cor see there we go. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Never be dismayed, for the Lord is for the Lord the God is with you always so I was thinking about this and um you know it's a natural natural thing to be discouraged but but it does come from evil to be discouraged because God is there to uplift you and when you are discouraged that's you know that's the devil talking to you whispering you know evil thoughts in your head or whatever it is in your head and <coughs> And I like this verse because there are some people, there are just some people out there that are just so discouraging and just so, they don't uplift you. You know, th nowadays there are people that, um, who can't be happy for one another. When they're sad, they, f they make others feel sad. And then when you do something that you like or you enjoy or, you know, you're happy about, there are always that, there's always that one person who is there to discourage you and me and uh, make you feel bad for what you enjoy. This is a good Bible text this, mor this morning because I was feeling very discouraged, actually. So just to remember, God is always with you. Pay no attention to people who are, 
who talk bad about you or who bring you down. I mean, they're they're probably unhappy with their life, so let them deal with it. And then here he's gonna continue. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is good stuff. <gasps> what happened here? Huh? What happened to your pants? What happened here? Hmm? Lucy, was this you? You need to clean your room. Guess who's cooking tonight? What's on the menu, chef? Arroz con leche and enchiladas. And arroz con leche is? Literally rice with milk. Sweet rice. Sweet. And it's? Good. Real cinnamon, right? Yeah. It's bedtime for these kids, so they are marching. March your butt upstairs, Mike. Lucy. No, Daddy's, Daddy's cooking. Come here. Come here. Breathe, Mike. Breathe. Come here. Come here. He's angry. Well, leaving on a good note. <laughs> Say good night. Well, y'all, time to eat. Made some enchiladas and arroz con leche. If you want the recipe, let Abby know. Be more than happy to. Oh, she's vlogging it. She's Instagramming it, I think. If you want the recipe, ask Abby. She'll give it to you. Just closing thoughts, moment, or. Um, bon appetit! <laughs>